Good morning world, day three. Yesterday was very hard to sleep. It was very, very hot. I was sleeping in all sorts of positions. My head was here, like I was just like making stars all over the bed, basically. Sleeping wise was very, very hard, but as I said, I'm very strong mentally and I know how to like basically fool my brain and turn anger into funny. Literally telling myself I can't sleep, I can't sleep. So like just turn it in the, into fun, <laughs> basically. So that's what I've done and uh, I couldn't sleep well and I woke up very very early but that's because I really want to fix my life and it's been why I've been waiting for this to fix my sorry to fix my waking up hour because usually I realize when I wake up very early I'm more focused so that's that but I've got great news I know that yesterday I said I'm going to email to two, uh, to two shops but the thing is I said that is because my plan is to actually get some money so if I have a stable income basically I'll be able to hire music producers but instead what I've done is I've been really scared to approach uh, record labels because I didn't have confidence so instead what I've done is I literally was emailing uh, record labels <laughs> I know this is a big, big step for me to take especially that I self publish my songs so they are very bad quality but I did my best it's better to try rather than nothing and I literally like told them in the emails that I am very very eager and committed to making this happen and I'm really looking for somebody who can bring my vision to life and I left my phone number because like I just really really want like directly I just want this to happen so that's what I've done and I'll keep you posted on how the day goes as I said in my previous in day two I have run out of medication so right now I'm gonna go get some medication and then afterwards I have an appointment with my psychiatrist happens to be so so i'm going to this is the first time i'm going to tell him about everything i'm going to tell him about my dream because some people are telling me i'm delusional and it's kind of playing with my head but um i'm doing so much better like if i was delusional why am i this happy that i finally found my purpose and i'm very like i'm really happy to a point like yesterday it was easy for me to sleep without panic attacks i was so chill i was watching many podcasts uh including um Mark Manson's, I really recommend. He's the writer of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. There's his book just right here. And he has got podcasts to do with that. And it's been like so motivating and so encouraging and so healing that like, helps me to understand my mind basically. And there was a saying, he, he talked about a story of an old wise man, uh, I forgot his name, and a kid asked him, uh, how can I make, how can I succeed and make things happen? And he literally gave a, like a simple advice that's just like very, very fucking easy that I want to really work on it. And I've done that just last night before bed that you write down how you, f you see your future and you basically work your way backwards. It's fucking crazy. So basically from retirement and like living as an artist, that's like my final vision when I settle down finally. Uh, and I just literally wrote down what I'm looking forward until that point in my life. <sighs> and everything's so like focused and easy. And of course, like I don't want to share so many private things. I don't know if you can see all of these it's because um, if you remember, I was wearing a necklace and when I go for runs, I was sweating. So it used to make, so like sweating with the rust. It used to, I think, leave some marks and bacteria or something, but yeah, that's that. It's gonna go away anyway. But I'm excited to let you know how the day is gonna go. But um, as I, I was watching Mark Manson, he did say that don't force yourself, be kind to yourself. I'm literally on day three, I still have so much time. So let's see how it goes. You can also tell that I'm opening up, that I'm being more happy, more vibrant, more myself. And I'm not stuttering anymore. I can talk to the camera without problems because I went live on TikTok last day, yesterday. So I'll see if I'm gonna go actually today on TikTok live again. But um, today I really want to, there's another song that I really want to publish. But this time I really want to make my own music video. Just like to make something different and interesting. So hopefully this is gonna bring some audience and see how it goes. Having breakfast, I don't know if you are the same with me. I struggle sometimes with uh, like, feeling hungry basically what i do is like when i feel really hungry i make something very light and just lie to my brain again and tell them like no you're actually hungry that's why you think that you're not hungry this is actually a real thing just like your stomach for some reason make you think that you're not hungry so i make you something really light if you're really really nauseated you can have salad i've done something very nice and like small just i 
I bought some eggs and had like some mozzarella like just to melt with it peppered and salted put some uh, like mixed herbs like ready mixed herbs and some chili I've been obsessed with chili recently which is strange I hate hot food that's why and because it's hot I got myself some orange juice and these are some just like nice basically like not a dessert just like something sweet to give me energy for the day with some Scottish biscuits and of course a water bottle bottle of water Oh, also I keep forgetting I'm gonna make a video to do with my tattoos people have been asking me and I've been forgetting so I want to get this out of the way and please do not think that I haven't washed these because literally I'm a hygiene freak and I literally put them in the laundry yesterday after shower and it was so hot that they dried today so I'm wearing them again I've never told you the story of why I actually given up my dream and that's because so after my gig like you can see the video where I'm talking about the gig and I had like a panic attack and was crying that I didn't perform as as I expected and I was like you oh, know I had anxiety and stuff and I was crying um, afterwards I happened to have an appointment with a lawyer because I was trying to find the best visa for me to stay as a refugee but for some reason that lawyer did not tell me about any of the refugee visas which was very evil of him I said evil of him because he wouldn't know all of the suffering I had to go through by myself just because I had to try to manage to make my own like uh, to apply to my own refugee visa and that was actually why it took me years and I suffered like three years homelessness mm -hmm. because I had to like deal and make my visa application refugee visa application alone because he didn't actually guide me the way he had to like he had only one job and I suffered just because he didn't care so he listened to my story and he put me down for it he was like be realistic he was very like aggressive i don't know why very strange i paid for you anyway so um he was very aggressive and he told me that i have to be realistic that if i want to stay that i have to he literally said like you since i'm studying English literature he told me like you can go back home and become a teacher like I literally came to him for help to stay as a refugee and because my English was not good enough and I was very socially awkward I literally got upset and I told him like no sorry I can do everything but go back home and he got really upset when I said this thing like when I said like no sorry I can't do that he said that was because he felt to make his dream true to become a musician so probably because he couldn't make his dream true he didn't want me to make my dream true as well that was when I fell to depression I felt like I'm not going anywhere, I have to go back home anyway. I fell into depression, I started drinking a lot, and I just lost hope, lost my purpose. <sighs> but here I am again, standing up. And I'm trying to make everything work out for myself again. Okay, ready to rock and roll. Two hours later. Yeah, I got my medication. Starting to feel very depressed and anxious, so suddenly I don't know why. Probably because of missing the dose, but still I shouldn't take it. I shouldn't double the dose, I just have to take it like regular hours starting tonight. I'm gonna tell this to my psychiatrist. <sighs> Anxiety. Two hours later. New and Apple fix my mood. Done from this project. See, even though I've missed a dose of my medication, it's very crazy how your control over your mind is so powerful that I was feeling bad like a while ago, but as soon as I started exercising, taking a shower, shaving, feeling nice and cute, uh, <laughs> my self-love keeps me positive. It's really crazy, even though like I miss a dose and mirtazapine, like when you miss a dose from mirtazapine, it's, you can feel it real quick, at least for me. And uh, I was feeling like terrible and then I had a nap and it's really crazy just like telling yourself mentally that no, I can do it. No, I'm doing great. It's just I'm feeling like this because I didn't miss the dose and just forget about it. Just like acknowledging the feeling and just letting it go. So that's how I've been surviving and life has been so much easier and great. It's better than just crying and brooding and being scared feeling anxious it's been really helpful for me when i turn it into fun so i wanted to share this and maybe help somebody but yeah day three i uh i finished to be honest i've done so much and i just need to chill uh i'm probably i'm thinking maybe maybe not sure 
if my life started to slow down, I might have to make this once a week. It depends what I go through, definitely. For example, if I actually, my life plan changed and I had to find a job for, like if my artist life was not working and I had to get like a normal job somehow, although I'm mentally doing all over the shop, but I have to force myself to fix my life. Anyway, so if I force myself to get a job, I still can make it as an artist because I can get a loan and then focus on my passions. Like get a hire a literary agent for my books or if they're not successful on their own or make it as an artist just finally have my exhibition exhibit my paintings man but yeah the future is coming and the future looks bright brighter and great and that's what i'm excited for even my psychiatrist when i told him about all of this he was like <laughs> i'm excited to hear what you have like uh for me to say like next appointment so we'll see but yeah day three done i've done so much i don't want to think anymore whatever i don't even want to remember uh, because it's been a tough day still because of the medication that I lost, the, the dose that I missed. But uh, tattoo video about my tattoos coming up, and then this video is coming up as well. So I guess see you tomorrow on day four. But um, let's see what I'm planning tomorrow for day four. So every day I'm actually planning something to like get myself out there. So I think it's very wise that I take a day off. Otherwise, I would just like destroy destroy myself destroy my spirit and i don't want this to happen i can't rescue it i can't risk it but uh yeah so tonight i'm not done yet i finished some like projects on the side i was doing like there's so many things i was want to do to do with writing that i wanted to do and uh so so far what's left of me is writing projects tonight one of them is a story that's called Steed. so basically i'm working on a short stories little book that is to do you're gonna find out tomorrow when i publish it but uh yeah so a little short book with short stories lovely stories coming up soon there's just like i think four four stories left for me to write and then it's ready to go um yes and then i have other another short story books that i want to fix up to bring back because it was pu published before but i want i i unpublished it because i wanted to fix it then there's another book coming up that's called Adrift. It's a story about a group of friends who get lost in a, in the wild, in the wilderness. So anyway, uh, you're gonna know about it more when they come out. But yeah, these are just snippets giving you a peek a boo on what I've been up to. But yeah, this is the kind of project I'm working on the side. And definitely I also have my art, but I just want to have a post for my art right now because I'm doing it every night and I kind of get bored of the routine. So it's good to have a cocktail. And uh, yes, no more thinking, that's it, video done, no more of me having to take any more videos, I have to relax right now and focus on writing. Okay, take care of yourself, exercise, eat healthy, it, it is what really have been keeping me together until this point, so take care of yourself and I'll see you on tomorrow day 4, which is probably going to be mm, busking live on TikTok, showing myself and talking about what I do, probably, don't pin me on it, but we'll see how it goes. Good night. Oh, and most importantly, stay hydrated. Oh my goodness, I found my cringe manga that I used to draw and write when I was little. And they're all like literally yaoi. It's like boys love, so it's gay mangas. And they're all incomplete. Like this one's just literally three pages. This is just like, this is like the longest one I have. It's not really too long at all. My goodness, I'm definitely gonna make a video and just <laughs> read it for you guys. But it's so, so, so cringe. Oh my god, the drawing is bad as well. Like, this one is so empty. Just like looking at one of these panels. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god, look at the proportions. Look at the hair. Look at that. This one. I mean, I understand that, like, the sky is creative, but I like how, like, the character is, like, it's still the morning. Oh, my English as well was bad. Anyway, so the character is, like, it's still the morning, but I can't, like, you can't tell. It actually looks like sunset, to be honest. But yeah, we're gonna have a laugh later on this. So, follow on. Probably gonna be my video tomorrow for you. Just something fun and nice. Just to chill. Good night.